Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We welcome you and all visitors to St. Andrew Catholic Church's First Communion Mass. Muy buenos días a todos. Le damos la bienvenida a usted y a todos los visitantes a la misa de las primeras comuniones de la Iglesia Católica de San Andrés. Please remember, per the CDC guidelines, Mass are required while on campus here at St. Andrews, including for the duration of Mass for ages two and up. Please remember to have the Mass cover both your mouth and nose for proper protection. Thanks for helping us to keep our community safe. Recuerden que según las pautas del CDC, se requiere el uso de máscaras para personas mayores de dos años de edad durante toda la misa y mientras estén en nuestros campus parroquial. Recuerde que las máscaras deben cubrir tanto su boca como su nariz para una protección adecuada. Gracias por ayudarnos a mantener segura a nuestra comunidad. Leading us in today's Eucharistic celebration is Father Dan Fleming, assisted by Deacon Tom Gotchel and by Deacon in Training, David Patterson. Celebra esta Eucaristía El padre Dan Fleming, asistido por el diácono Tom Gochal y el diácono en entrenamiento David Peterson. Our mass intention for this mass is for the first communicants. La intención de la misa de hoy es para los niños que reciben hoy su primera comunión. We ask now that you please take a moment to check to see that your cell phones and other electronic devices are turned off before mass begins. Ahora les pedimos que por favor tomen un momento para comprobar que sus teléfonos celulares y otros dispositivos electrónicos estén apagados antes de la misa. We also ask, please, no flash photography during the First Communion Mass. Additionally, we ask that you please limit any non-flash photography to be taken from your seat. También les pedimos a todos que por favor no tomen fotografías con flash durante esta misa de primera comunión y que se limiten a tomar sus fotos solamente desde sus asientos. We gather here in our place of worship about to celebrate the gift of our very faith in word and sacrament. Let us take a few moments then to quietly gather our thoughts as we prayfully ready ourselves for our communal celebration of the Eucharist. Nos reunimos aquí en nuestro lugar de culto divino, a punto de celebrar el don de nuestra misma fe en palabra y sacramento. Tomemos unos momentos para reunir en silencio nuestros pensamientos mientras nos preparamos en oración para nuestra celebración comunal de la Eucaristía. Please make sure you've received a program that has everything you will need inside. Asegurar que todos han recibido un programa imprimido. Adentro contiene todo lo que van a necesitar. Nos ponemos de pie. Let us stand. Dios, 
Here the hungry find plenty, here the thirsty shall drink. Bena la cena de Cristo, come to the feast. Hay que darse a morir para cosechar. Las semillas de libertad y resurrección, la promesa de vivir. Ven, ven al banquete, ven a la fiesta de Dios. Hear the hungry find plenty, hear the thirsty shall drink. Vena la cena de Cristo, come to the feast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Good morning, buenos dias. Good morning, buenos dias. What a marvelous occasion, an opportunity to gather with this very special sacramental moment in the lives of so many of our kids. A day that many of you have been preparing for for quite some time. A day that you'll remember throughout your sacramental lives as Catholic Christians. A day that we celebrate you, but we also celebrate our Lord in both word and in the sacrament of the Eucharist. So I congratulate you and all of your families gathered here, as well as family members who couldn't be with us this day. We'll raise them in prayer as well. Let us pray. I'm sorry, excuse me. Preparing ourselves to enter these mysteries of Christ's love, we take a few moments to call to mind our openness to God's loving ways. And preparing to receive the Holy Eucharist, we pause and ask our Lord, pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison, Christ Kyrie eleison, Kyrie To God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Gloria a Dios en el cielo, en la tierra pasa los hombres que ama al Señor. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Señor Hijo Único, Jesucristo, Señor Dios, Cordero de Dios, Hijo del Padre, Tú que quitas el pecado del mundo, Ten piedad de nosotros, tú que quitas el pecado del mundo, atiende nuestro.
nuestra súplica, tú que estás sentado a la derecha del Padre, ten piedad de nosotros. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen, Amen, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Gloria a Dios en el cielo, y en la tierra paz a los hombres que ama al Señor. Let us pray. O God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ may experience continued increase of your saving grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated now as we listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, I say, come, eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Está siempre en mi boca, mi alma se gloria en el Señor, que los humildes lo escuchen y se alegren. Usted y vea que bueno es el Señor. goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol His name. I sought the Lord who answered me. Thank you. 
guste ni vean que bueno es el Señor. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Miren al Señor y quedarán radiantes, no asomará en sus caras la vergüenza. Si el afligido invoca al Señor, lo escuchará y lo salva de sus angustias. Usted y vean que bueno es el Señor. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Queridos hermanos, el cáliz de la bendición con el que damos gracias, ¿no nos une a Cristo por medio de su sangre? Y el pan que partimos, ¿no nos une a Cristo por medio de su cuerpo? El pan es uno. Y así nosotros, aunque somos muchos, formamos un solo cuerpo porque todos comemos del mismo pan. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Christ is risen, creator of all. He has shown pity on all people. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to him, I'm going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered, no. 
So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When, Peter, when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for it was tightly clad. He jumped into the sea. The other's disciples came to, in the boat, for they had not been far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out to shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you have caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed, tend my sheep. Jesus said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen. Amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. This was the third time Jesus re was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. Jesus wants to reveal himself to his disciples and to us as followers some 2,000 years later. And isn't that exciting? And he reveals himself on many levels. You know, these have been very really crazy times these last four months, haven't they? Who would have thought we would have to start wearing face masks in public places, in the workplace? Eventually in school, it's going to be required. Wearing face masks when we gather as a community of believers to celebrate our Lord. 
It's tough to recognize people sometimes with a face mask on, isn't it? I know I was kind of straining standing in the narthex this morning, welcoming some of you back that I haven't seen for a while because of the limitations that we've had placed on us. The expression I often like to use is, it's great to see your smiling eyes. Because that's how we have to relate to people. Correct? Now I'm actually told that I can preach and preside at the liturgy once I get in without a mask, as long as I keep my distance. But it really is hard to recognize people sometimes with a mask on. I've mentioned this because it's very similar to what the apostles had experienced with Jesus on those three times in the post-resurrection experience of Jesus. Each time they had difficulty initially recognizing him. Jesus had transformed in a way, because he had been crucified and died, raised into heaven, now was back among us for at least a brief period, but in a form that they didn't initially recognize. And I believe part of the reason Jesus did that is that we, through the centuries, we as followers of Christ would have to find ways to recognize him in our lives. And in those first several decades and then centuries, we had the development of the scriptures. They've evolved through the years in the various languages so that we can have an understanding of Christ through study of the scriptures, but in celebrating the Mass as well. And the breaking of the bread. Of course, you all know that came from Holy Thursday celebration, didn't it? And at that Holy Thursday celebration, the night before Jesus died, he celebrated over a meal, a very special meal, recognizing this would be the, one of the last times prior to his death. This would be the last time prior to his death he, that they gathered and what he did at that meal was the basis for what we do when we gather as Catholic Christians in the celebration of the Mass. And he did something similar in his post-resurrection experiences. Think of the road to Emmaus, just days after his resurrection. And they're still gaining a sense of whether he really did come back to life. And two of his apostles are walking along the road. And they come upon a stranger. At least they thought. And Jesus asked them what they're doing and where they're going. And they said to Jesus, haven't you heard? And then they went on to tell him of all these things that had happened in recent days. And the death of their leader, the one they thought to be the Messiah, the chosen one, and how their hearts were broken. Then, at the end of the walk to Emmaus, they invite this stranger to come and have a meal with them. And it was at that meal when they sat down at table when Jesus took the bread and broke it once again. And at that point, their eyes were opened and they recognized the Lord in the breaking of the bread. Nothing in human history has been the same since. 
And aren't we blessed as Catholic Christians to still be able to do that some 2,000 years later? Following the direction of Jesus to do this in remembrance of me. And so we gather weekly. And even though many of us can't gather every Sunday now because of this pandemic, because of various limitations, and perhaps within family members at home that may have special circumstances or may not be well themselves or limitations in their own health, we can still tune in, can't we? We can still go online and look at it on, on our screen, our tablet, or even on our phone. I, I tend to watch it on the phone. Believe it or not, I watch it every Sunday, even though I was the one presiding when we put it together. But we have that opportunity to stay connected. Today is a very real special day because many of you will be receiving the Holy Eucharist for the first time. Isn't that exciting? As I said in my opening comments, you will remember this your entire life. I still remember mine. Deacon Tom, do you remember yours? Marvelous day. David, do you remember yours? Special days. And we'll talk about it at family gatherings. And we'll see pictures. Hopefully everybody brought their phone. We can take a few pictures today. And we'll be able to share that with others through the years. And it's a special time on the first time we receive the Holy Eucharist, but it's a special time every time we gather and receive the Eucharist. Now, during these days of this pandemic, that who knows when we'll, this will be under control, for those times that we can't gather in person, we can receive the Eucharist spiritually. We put on the screen... And someone reads aloud each time we have the recorded liturgy, what we call the spiritual communion prayer. You could download it in advance of the, of the Mass if you'd like, so you have it a little more readily available. But pray aloud, or at least listen to that prayer if you're viewing from home. And recognize that because of our desire to receive our Lord, even though we can't be present at the Mass on a given day, that we have, in fact, truly received him into our minds and our hearts once again. We do so as a way of nourishing us, refreshing us, so that we can be energized for the journey ahead, the journey that is so necessary as Catholic Christians to continue the mission of Christ, to continue to bring his message into our hearts and into the hearts of others. Because as we gather here or at home virtually, we do so recognizing that it is, an, it is important, more, as important what we do when we leave that space, go into the world, into the workplace, into our schools, into all of the places where we encounter others, representing Christ, confident because we know we have Christ within us. That's what the Eucharist is about. That's why we're here this day. The Sacrament of Initiation for many of you, the second of three that you'll receive, baptism, Holy Eucharist, First Communion, and then Confirmation. All to energize us as followers of our Christ. Continue blessings for each of you this day. You are in our prayers. We continue to pray for you for a lifelong journey as Catholic Christians, enriched and nourished by the reception of the Holy Eucharist, Christ among us, in us,
through us. Can I get an amen? Having celebrated the word, we stand now together affirming what we've learned as we proclaim our profession of faith. It's printed in our program. Um. We follow along and recite the profession in either language, English or Spanish, as we proclaim, I believe in one God, God, the Father Father of the Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of heaven heaven and earth, earth, of all things things visible visible and and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mindful that God, who generously nourishes us and strengthens us with the living bread, come down from heaven. Let us now present our prayers of petition and praise before our God of love. For the worldwide church, with grateful hearts and praise for the gifts of the Eucharist, may we as church, together with Pope Francis, all clergy and lay people alike, seek our strength, not from worldly wealth and power, but from true food and true drink the Lord alone provides. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para que los líderes del mundo reconozcan que el verdadero poder se encuentra en el servicio y la verdadera sabiduría se encuentra en la palabra de Dios, trabajando juntos para ser efectivos y lograr una paz duradera, una justicia que nunca falla y unidad entre las naciones. Oremos al Señor. Señor, es For our parish community of St. Andrew, may we grow as a family, strengthened in our love and care for one another by the sacrament of eternal life, living the Paschal mystery more deeply. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por todos nuestros niños quienes reciben la primera comunión hoy, para que la participación en el sacramento de la Sagrada Eucaristía los ayude a obtener una conciencia más profunda del amor y la presencia de Dios en sus vidas todos los días, brindándoles la sabiduría y la guía para ayudarlos a vivir vidas de fe en todo lo que hacen. Oremos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. In thanksgiving for our parents, catechists, teachers, educational leaders, staff and administrators, May God give them the wisdom, insight, and courage as they prepare for the coming school year so that students may learn and everyone may stay safe and healthy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por todos los enfermos, solitarios, desamparados y los que tienen hambre, que encuentran en el pueblo de Dios el apoyo, el amor, y la ayuda que necesitan para sanar y perseverar a través de los desafíos que enfrentan. Oremos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. For our deceased family members and friends, 
May they now enjoy the eternal banquet with God in heaven. And for those who mourn, may they find comfort and peace in Jesus' invitation to take, eat, and drink, and live the mystery. For whoever eats this bread will live forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por las oraciones que tenemos en nuestros corazones. Oremos al Señor. Mighty God, our source of nourishment and strength, you have given us the Eucharistic feast to draw us closer to you and to feed us with yourself. Hear our prayers that in listening to your word and feasting at your table, we might be strengthened to do your will, bringing us to the fullness of eternal life. We ask all these things through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. We ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our inequities and cleanse us of our sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, 
establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end acclaim with one voice. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Cada vez que comemos de este pan, Y bebemos de este cáliz, anunciamos tu muerte, Señor, hasta que vuelvas. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory John, our Archbishop, Joel and Ned, our auxiliary bishops, and all those who serve your church. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. We stand together now praying the prayer that Jesus himself taught us each in our own language as we say our, our Father, Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. Give, give us this, this day our daily bread, bread, bread and forgive us, us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us and lead us, lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, evil. from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom and the power, the power and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your with your spirit. spirit. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. My friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
as our deacon and Eucharistic ministers are taking their place for the distribution of the Eucharist today, I just want to take a moment to review with you our procedures. Luis is going to help me in the translation so that everybody fully understands. Uh, para las nuevas regulaciones que tenemos, uh, vamos a darles unas, unas instrucciones de cómo vamos a tomar la Eucaristía. Uh, vamos a esperar a que nuestros uh, hermanos servidores les indiquen. Everyone will approach the Eucharist from the side aisles of each section, following the direction of our greeters. Each pew and family should stay together, making sure we have social distance, uh, that we recognize and participate in the social distance with the lines that are in the carpet all the way through. Uh, todos vamos a esperar a que nuestros hermanos servidores nos den las indicaciones. Solamente usaremos los lados laterales uh, a la hora que, uh, que te indiquen vas a acercarse a donde está la persona que te va a dar la comunión. Uh, están las líneas ahí marcadas. As you approach the Eucharistic minister, priest or deacon, you'll stand at a line there and you'll keep your mask on in place as you receive. You'll be presented the body of Christ, Cuerpo de Cristo. You'll receive with the mask still on, and then you'll step left or right to an X. As you do so, you'll remove the mask, consume the Eucharist, replace the mask, and head down the center aisle. Cuando se acerquen hacia el diácono, hacia las, a los uh, servidores, Van a, cuando reciban la Eucaristía, por favor mantengan la máscara puesta. Cuando reciban la Eucaristía en la mano, moverse a donde está la cruz. Cuando estén en la cruz, bajarla, consumir la Eucaristía y pasar por los pasillos del centro solamente. No regresen por los laterales, por los pasillos del centro. Show you how that's going to work.
sin fin más uno en él Señor un pan un cuerpo un solo Señor una propia diversidad un cuerpo somos en el Señor Rain for the fields scattered and to one for all one bread one body one Lord of all one cup of blessing which we bless solo Señor una copa de la bendición en nuestra propia diversidad un cuerpo solo Please remain seated. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that th through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together through Christ our Lord. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful sentiment? That the whole body of Christ, the family of Christ, may be bound together. That's what it's all about. We're very glad for all of you who are able to join us this week. In two more weeks on a Saturday, we have a, the remainder of our 94 or 95 kids who are receiving First Communion. We're excited for all of you. I ask that not only do we keep this group of, of kids and their families in our prayers, but we continue to pray for those families 
uh, where they'll be receiving First Communion in two weeks. Where is Luis at this point? Much like our special procedures for receiving Eucharist, we also have procedures in place for dismissal. We want to take a moment to review that, recognizing that many of you may not have been join, may not have had the opportunity to join us in recent weeks. El Padre quiere que todos uh, repasemos los procedimientos de salida, ya que, como saben, todas las cosas han cambiado. Our greeters will actually release each pew one at a time, family by family, and out the side aisles and down and out the, um, either through the narthex for the center section or through the side doors for the folks sitting in the side sections. Los servidores les indicarán uh, de banca por banca, familia por familia, que vayan saliendo hacia enfrente. Van a ser una, va a ser una familia a la vez, y igual por los lados. On your way out the door, families will have an opportunity to contribute to the offertory. This is an important part of what we do to keep the church running, both in, in terms of the, the church, the staff, but also through our outreach uh, ministries. And there are baskets at the doors of the church for just those special occasions. Yes, Jimmy. Thank you. I stand corrected. <laughs> Not the first time. Uh, I've been told that we will, everyone will actually still be released from the side aisles, but we'll head out through the narthex on this special occasion so that uh, individuals are able to pick up their certificates out in the plaza area. Bueno, uh, cambiaron un poquito las cosas. Uh, bueno, el padre decía al principio que a la salida van a ver las canastas para la ofrenda. Eh, sean generosos, por favor, ya que, como saben, te, eh, hemos tenido muchas dificultades con todo esto de la pandemia. Uh, los, lados de los, la, los lados laterales van a, a quedarse, por favor, con mucha paciencia, ya que enfrente les van a entregar a ustedes los certificados de, de la primera comunión de sus hijos. Entonces, van a empezar a salir las familias desde atrás hacia enfrente, Y ustedes, por favor, mantengan la calma que los vamos a sacar en cuanto en cuanto las familias de enfrente ya se hayan uh, se hayan retirado. And of course, the offertory baskets will be two of them in the narthex to make that happen for you. The offertory baskets, there are two. Oh, la, las canastas de ofertorio están enfrente, como ya se los eh, los indiqué. Additionally, I just want to recommend to families, since it's a beautiful day, there are several opportunities for taking pictures. All around on the grounds of the property, we have the grotto, we have the Mary statue out here, we have another Mary statue in the plaza. Please feel free to make use of the interior, the exterior for any and all pictures, and that's because once people leave here, there's no opportunity for pictures up front. Le recomiendo que ustedes, como saben que es un buen día, está muy soleado, uh, aprovechen las partes de los jardineras Está la Virgen aquí a la izquierda, está la gruta y están todo el jardín donde se pueden tomar unas fotos muy bonitas, ya que aquí adentro por el momento no se va a poder. Entonces los invita a que tomen uh, ventaja del día tan bonito que tenemos. Also, um, it's my understanding that the, the children who made their first communions are going to actually made the first communion, they're going to actually have an opportunity to sing a special song. Katie Trolley. Yes, and we want to invite all the parents, too, since everybody's seated as a family. If you'd like to join in singing, you can. But children, please stand. Niños de pie. Uh, you can sing through your masks, please. Canten por las máscaras, por las cubrebocas. And you can use your program. The, the words are in the program. La palabra, la letra está en el programa. Thank 